Hi, me again. And today we're going to talk about project once more. And this is to help people out with some of the frustrations they have about the settings not staying the same. But in particular, within the team planner view, we're going to have a look at how to play around with the working times where resources use different calendars. So here's project, first of all. And I'm just going to insert a couple of tasks. So a weekday task and a weekend. Yeah. And I'm just going to put that them both down as five days. OK, so you see at the moment they both stretch over five days. However, I'm now going to change the working time and create a new calendar because you can see my standard calendar allows normal working during the week but not at the weekend. And this has an impact on my tasks which can't work over the weekend. Now clearly my weekend task I want to take place including over the weekend. So I'm going to create a new calendar. I'm going to call it weekend. And at the moment it's a copy of the standard. But now you'll notice up here it says weekend calendar. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to change the default working week times for this calendar. So I click on work weeks and click on details. And I'm going to now say the easy way of doing this is just to say use those working times for everything and then go back into it and specify the days that they're not working. So in this instance on Wednesday and Thursday the people who are working weekend calendar they, that's effectively when they have their weekend. So I now set those days to non-working time. Click OK. You'll notice how now effectively their weekend takes place in the middle of the week. But they can now work on Saturday and Sunday. They are counted as normal working days. So we click OK. Not had any impact on here yet because no resources are actually working on those tasks. So we now go into the resource sheet Bill and Fred. Bill works the standard calendar. Fred works at weekends. Okay. Now these are base calendars for these resources. They're not the individual resources calendar. It's just the calendar that their individual calendar is based upon. And that's why it actually says base calendar here rather than just calendar. So let's see how that works. I'm going to go back to the Gantt chart and I'm just going to split my screen here so we can actually assign these resources. So I'm on weekday and I'm going to assign Bill. Click OK. Next, I'm now going to assign Fred. Watch what happens to the Gantt chart now when I assign Fred. That task is seemingly shorter. It's not actually shorter, it's still five days. The difference is now two days of the work is carried out over the weekend. So let's have a look at that in the Team Planner view. So we end up with the working time, and you see the weekends, the non-working time for Fred, is shown differently to what it is for Bill and for everybody else. So here we have our weekday task, which in fact is spread over seven days, even though it's a five-day duration. And here we have our weekend working task, which is now over the five days, because those are the five days that Fred is available. You'll notice that the first day of the weekday task is actually the Thursday, here being today, and the Thursday Fred can't work because that's part of his weekend and that's why it's shifted into that gap there. Okay, what we can do is we can make an exception to Fred's working week and say we do want Fred to work on that day to bring this forward. So. What I can do is just double click on Fred here as a resource. And if I now go to change working time, this is no longer the base calendar. This is actually Fred's calendar, which is based upon the weekend calendar. So if I now put in an exception, I'm only putting that exception in for Fred, not for everybody else on the weekend calendar. And that's really important. If I get into this from somewhere else, for example, so if I'm on the Gantt chart and I go into the calendars from here and 
had, say, changed the weekend calendar, I'm now changing the calendar for everybody yeah, who's based on the weekend calendar. What I can do, though, is I can use Fred's calendar from here. Yep, now I'm just changing it for Fred. Much easier simply to double click on it, double click on the resource and go change working time. Then I know I've got the correct calendar up for the resource that I want to change. What I'm now going to do is create an exception and I'm going to say extra work. And this is going to be on whichever day I have selected here. So if I click a day there, it puts it in as the 12th, which is the Thursday. Now, although that's normally effectively his Sunday, yeah, I'm going to make that working. So I've created an exception. However, I haven't defined the exception yet. What I now need to do, because you see here, it still says the 12th is non-working. Even though it's an exception, I need to go into the details and change that to have working times. Click OK. Now we see it has working times on that day and it's marked up as an exception. Click OK, click OK again and hey presto, Fred's work now starts on the non-working day. We can do the same for Bill, so we can make exceptions for Bill, so Bill could work over that weekend. Double click on Bill, change working times, I've now got the calendar for Bill. Yeah. I'm going to put an exception for him working over the weekend. I'm going to click on there as the start day, but I can click here to set the second day. Now, again, it's gone in as exceptions, but if I click on one of these days, they're still showing as non-working. So I better actually just change that, because this is not the 12th, this is supposed to be the 14th. Yep, so it's only those two which are the exception but you can see they're still down as non-working even though they're an exception I need to set the details and set them as working times click OK OK again that task there has now shrunk down now if I actually move these tasks somewhere else you'll notice that what it's actually done is it's taken out where, where it was non-working times. So that's how it's actually done it. So it's fitted them in by removing the fact that there were non-working times there. If I were to drag it over a non-working time period, again it will extend out to fit the available working time. Okay, I hope that's been useful. I hope it's clarified things on there. Um, there's one last thing I want to cover, and that is how we can change the settings of the non-working time. Because I like the settings I've got there, where it's quite pale. Some people like, like it to be different. Now, the easiest way to change this is simply right-click, choose the non-working time, and then you could change the color here. Um, and you can, more importantly, change how the color is filled. So you could choose a very faint fill and in fact that's far too bright a colour much better okay so that's much easier to see um, what it also lets you do is if you do go over a non-working period you can see through because the actual tasks are semi-transparent now how do we save this because a lot of the time people have a problem when they change the view they go to something else and then come back to it and it would have reverted back to the defaults. It shouldn't do that, and it won't generally, but it does sometimes. So a way around that is to actually click on the bottom half of the Team Planner and save a view. Yeah. If you save the view, you can now give it a name. Um, I'm just going to call this My Team Planner, just to differentiate from any Team Planner that's there. And what I can now do is when I click on the drop down here, I'll see my team planner in the custom team planner views. Now you do have to be careful that you save this from in the team planner drop down rather than in one of these other view drop downs, otherwise it will appear here if you do save view here. Yeah. Or here if you do it in there. So it is important that you do it in the right place. The other thing we can do is if you use 
this view here, the view bar, what you can do is you can find your extra team planner, my team planner, in the view bar as well. So you can click on any of these other views and then you can find my team planner to go back to it with all the correct settings. That's it. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you found it useful. I'm the Adobe Guy. Uh, thank you for listening.